I've got some more cavalry related things to show you that Chicken Fried Toys sent to me. And we're going to begin with Buckaroo number 11. This is the cavalry style. Now, you don't have to use this with the cavalry related items. You could get this figure if you like the colors of it and use it with any other accessories that you have. But this just happened to be released with the cavalry cavalry related items and so it's kind of designed and based off of that we flip this around it even says right there it's just one blank figure body gray shirt cavalry blue pants so if you're familiar with the buckaroos this is a essentially a build your own cowboy and this is the base the figure comes with a scarf i'm not pulling him out of the package yet we'll get him out soon enough but he comes with a scarf right there if you can see past the right there you can see past the seam and we have a lot of other stuff i'm going to start throwing things around we've got a pile of shirt off my backs these are a bunch of cavalry related coats we've got bivouac packing this is a bunch of pots and pans i can't wait to open these up and take a closer look at those toot your own horn do you need a bugler in your army and some flags well we've got you covered right there next we've got keep your powder dry and got some nice rifles and some handguns next gear me up which is some belt related things some pouches holsters rattle them say oh rattled the sabers not rattle them sabers but rattle the sabers we've got some swords and knives and scabbards and sheaths sheaths we got cover your head and this is a pile of hats these will be kind of neat to look at and then we've got pull up your trousers. This is the last official thing that I got, but pull up your trousers. We've got some belts, some, uh, what are these? Uh, Loincloth, sashes, belts, stuff like that in the pile. And then the final thing I have, which is not in official packaging, we've got a whole bunch of beans or heads, whichever you want to call them, to take a peek at. And we're going to be looking at all of them on this cavalry this buckaroo blank right there so let's get these things ripped open and let's take a closer look at this pile of cowboy goodness we'll begin by taking a look at some beans the first set is called using the old noodle a nice variety of heads there are a total of eight pieces in the set The second set of beans, More Noodles Please, contains another set of eight heads. This set has an awesome assortment of facial hair for your customizing needs. All in all, if you need some more cowboy heads or heads for any action figures, these are pretty cool looking. Next, we have Bivouac Packin'. You get six pots in total, two different styles. Over here, you get this cast iron pot with handle. The handle does move back and forth just a very little bit got a couple notches on the side so it doesn't go real far if the handle does pop off it's really easy to hook back on the lids do not open and so this is just what you get just this cool little prop then you get the coffee pot and it's cool it looks like uh, camping pots I've seen in the past when I was young with the kind of the blue speckly on there the handle does go back and forth again the lid does not come off there's a cool little handle back there. I don't know why, but these pots make me happy. And then you get a couple pails. And I'll lift this up. You can see this one's open right down in there. So you could put some stuff in there. Like if you got, say, some potatoes, the handle does move back and forth. This one is a little bit tight. Yeah, it's a little bit tighter, but it does work around and the figure holds them quite nicely. Next, we've got Toot Your Own Horn, because every good unit needs their own bugler, and you've got a couple bugles back here. We've got these guidons here, and you can assemble the guidons. You get eight pieces total. Six of them go to these guidons, so you have the nice pole here that you can hook right into the bottom of the flag. Then you've got this piece that will hook right into the bottom there, and then you get this nice full flag. And we'll assemble the other one here while we're at it. That way you've got uh, a flag, a guide on for some of your uh, troops to carry. And then this thing. I don't know why I like these just random odd little accessories, 
but I just do. Next, we have pull up your trousers, and you get six pieces in this accessory set, three different styles with two paint schemes each. To put these on, you just separate the figure at the waist, slide it on, and pop the figure back together. Then we get to the Gear Me Up set. You get two belts, two pinned flap holsters, two looped flap holsters, one pinned rifle cartridge box, one looped rifle cartridge box, one pinned cap pouch, and one looped cap pouch. I dare you to say that three times fast. In case you're not aware of the difference between the pinned and the loop, the loop works like this. You take a belt, any belt, from any of the chicken fried toys figures, and you slide the belt in just like that, and then you've got the holster or the item on the belt. I know, I turned this upside down, it's just for demonstration. Anything that has a pin, you can pin into a hole that's on part of the figure. So I can go and take this and pin it right into this spot, and then it will stay. And then if you want to stay permanently, you could put just a little dab of glue, but I think these actually hold, well, I was gonna say I think they hold well enough, but if you want them to be on permanently, you might wanna put a dab of glue there. But that's the difference between pinned and looped. Now we're gonna take a look at the shirt off my back set. And if you use this basic buckaroo to put these jackets on, you're gonna see it looks a little bit funny with the gray arms and the blue coat. So for this case, we're going to use this figure to demonstrate the coats because the blue matches. You get six pieces in total, two of each coat. Discovered that this figure was not the best to use as the example because of the short sleeves. It kind of looks a little funny. So it look a lot better on a figure that has longer sleeves with the gloves. Now we're up to keep your powder dry. There are eight pieces, including two lever rifles, two trapdoor rifles, two slings attached to those trapdoor rifles, and two gunfighter pistols. Now, if you're not familiar, if you haven't seen any previous videos, these slings are rotatable. They could be removable if you really wanted them to. If you'll notice, it is just a peg and loop system. So I don't think they're actually meant to be separated, but you could if you really wanted to. So you can rotate the sling down so it hangs down while the figure is holding the, the gun, or you can hold it, have it up, slide it around the shoulder of the figure, and then the figure can either hold on to it in a hanging way or hold it in their hand. Next up is Rattle the Sabres. Now I wanna make a quick note that this is a sample pack and it didn't come with all the items, but there's enough items here to show you what's included. So you get four of these sabers and you get two scabbards with a loop so you can slide it on a belt and you get two scabbards with a pin. You can see the pin right there that can plug into a hole on belts or outfits like jackets. You get two of these Green River knives and a knife sheath with loop, so slide on a belt, and a knife sheath with a pin to plug into a belt or a coat. And these work very easily. You just grab the scabbard and a sword and make sure it's going the correct direction. Slide it right on in, and it doesn't feel that it's very tight or difficult at all. And the same with this. You grab a knife, you grab a sheath, and you just slide it right in. No problem. Here's the final accessory pack, cover your head. You get 11 hats with four different styles. We'll begin with the style up in the top right corner. There's a brown one and a gray one. These ones have yellow cords. The crown is a kind of flat and it has an indentation near the front. You can see these pretty well, even flat. Then moving down here to the bottom right, we have three more plain style hats. They have a flat crown. There is no indentation around the top. This one, this gray one has a black band on it. This black one has a nice looking silver band. I could use several more of these. And then we'll call this like a dusty white. Dusty Off-White has a brown band around it. Moving up here to the top left, we have another style. The crown is indented. It kind of makes you think of some standard cowboy hats you might have seen. This gray one has a yellow cord wrapped around. This kind of dusty, dirty white has a black cord wrapped around. And the brown one has a yellow cord wrapped around. And the ends are kind of bent up a little bit as you might expect a cowboy hat to be. I forgot to mention that these ones, the edges kind of, the brim kind of 
uh, is flatter, kind of leans down just a little bit, while these brims are kind of a flatter one as well, with just maybe a very slight flare up. And then in the bottom left hand corner, we have a blue hat, a brown hat, and a gray hat. These have a kind of a triangular crown, if you can see that very well, with an indentation there, a deep indentation in the front and a slight indentation in the rear, a yellow cord for the gray hat, and it kind of, uh, kind of is just, the brim is kind of a, a little bit of up and down. It's mostly up here in the back and the front and more flat here on the side. The brown hat has a black cord and the blue hat has a yellow cord. I like all these hats. I think they are pretty cool. So after taking a look at everything and kind of playing around and trying some different things, this is the figure I ended up making from the Buckaroo. I kind of gave him a lot of stuff. I gave him the gunslinger gun, the saber with a sheath, and this is, I actually gave him two belts. I gave him the red sash and a black belt. He's got a folded over a holster here and the rifle ammo, a cap pouch. He came with, oh, the reason I gave him this red sash is because the figure comes with a red scarf for hanker, uh, neckerchief, so I just matched those up. I gave him this brown hat with yellow cord. I thought that looked kind of cool, and I just, I just loaded this guy up with a whole bunch of stuff. I really wanted to give him a bugle, though. I think bugles are awesome, and I think it would have looked really good. I was really anxious to, but after... I finished it all. I was like, the, the, the guide on is actually really cool. I, I really like this. And I kind of like how that looks. I wanted to give him a rifle too to hang over his shoulder. And it's like, you know, with the sword and the handgun, that just might be a little bit too much. So this is a, and ultimately I also chose not to give him a blue jacket because I think the blue jacket with the gray sleeves looks a little weird. I'll have to do some research to see if there were mixed colors, but I, I kind of don't think there were. I think it was a blue jacket with blue sleeves. So I just didn't want to mess that up and make it look kind of hokey. I might have to order a couple other blue figures so I can get those blue sleeves, but then you kind of get the jackets as well. So ultimately, I'm not quite sure how you use these. I may have to uh, get some ideas from some of you out there who customize figures, how you would use these. Give me some ideas down there and tell me what you would do and how you would work it. Maybe it's simple as opening up the back of the figure and swapping out the arms. I mean, that's a possibility. You know, the, having an arm pack might have been a cool thing as well. But I'm really pretty happy with this. I think he looks cool. This is the first cowboy I've actually kind of using pieces put together. I haven't done this before. And so this was actually a lot of fun to do this. I might do a little few changes here and there. But gosh, I think he ended up looking really cool. I'm going to bring him just a little bit closer. I have him so far away because of the guide on. But uh, now we can see him a little better. You can see his his gunslinger gun. I think that's what that's called. I'm trying to remember the names. Uh, he's got his saber with scabbard. And he's got his little pouches back here. I like the gloves. Uh, oh, wait. These are different gloves than some of the other figures. But uh, anyway, you could, you could actually do a variety of things. You could try to make this cavalry related, which a lot of this stuff is themed after. Or you can combine parts that you might already have or combine some of these things and just make a cowboy. You don't have to stick with the cavalry theme just because that's all that... Okay, I've got to do this. I, I Out this goes. It's been bugging me. I really, really, really... There we go. He's got the bugle now. Actually, I put it in his hand wrong. He's got the bugle now. Can he do it? I got to see it. Can he do it? Oh, I don't know if he can actually... Uh... Can he, can he, can he? You know what? That's good enough. It's like he's about to, so that's pretty good. He's getting ready to... We'll turn his head slightly. He's getting ready to blow that bugle. I like that bugle so much. <laughs> it's one of the best one of the best things out of all this, and some of you might disagree, but you can't change my opinion. I love this bugle. This thing is awesome. So anyway, that is the Buckaroo Cavalry style is what I'll call it and a whole pile of cavalry-related accessories.
I hope you had a little fun taking a look at this stuff with me because the first time I've actually looked at any of this stuff. If you haven't received your stuff yet, it's on its way from what I hear, and you soon will also be getting to enjoy all this stuff. And if you've gotten your stuff already, which I keep seeing pictures online, well, that's really awesome because it means you've been getting to play with it also. And if you didn't get in on the Kickstarter way back when, Chicken Fried Toys, from what I understand, is supposed to be starting to list the very limited quantities that they have after Joe Fest, which Joe Fest is in a couple weeks, from what I understand. I'm not going to make it this year. I wish I could. But uh, I will throw up a message in my community tab as soon as I see that they are making their cavalry stock available on the Chicken Fried Toys website. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you had a little bit of fun. I sure did. <laughs> we'll see you next time.